Hey there folks, Rel here. Today we'll be taking a look at the TMG-50, which is an LMG for the Terran Republic, available to the Heavy Assault class. We'll be going over statistics, comparing it just a little bit to available alternatives, and offering some advice on how to use it effectively. Hopefully, at the end of all this, you'll be able to decide whether or not the weapon will fit your personal playstyle. The TMG-50 will run you 500 certs, or 700 station cash to unlock. It deals 167 damage up to 10 meters and drops off to 143 damage at 75 meters. It's currently the only LMG in the TR's arsenal that has access to this damage model. And with that damage model, you're looking at 6 shots to kill up to 10 meters and 7 shots to kill at 11 meters and beyond. The weapon does have access to high velocity ammo, but that will not change its shots to kill against a standard full health target at any range. The TMG-50 fires at 577 rounds per minute, or 9.62 rounds per second, and if you're looking for a purely theoretical time to kill, meaning that all shots land on the chest, bullet travel is instant, and your target isn't running nano weave or isn't shielded, you'd end up with about a 0.52 second time to kill within 10 meters, and about a 0.62 second time to kill anywhere beyond that. This is not an outstanding time to kill, but it's not a terrible one either. Given the weapon's lower rate of fire, you'll be outclassed by weapons more geared toward close quarters, and in those situations, it can be a good idea to fall back on your T9 Carve or your MSWR. The TMG-50 has 75 rounds in the magazine with 225 in reserve, and it reloads in 4.24 seconds short and 5.225 seconds long. A 75 round magazine with a 4.24 second short reload is a pretty sweet spot to be in because in short fights you'll still have more than enough magazine to deal with multiple targets, but you won't be punished too heavily by the longer reload of something like the T9 Carve. The TMG-50 has a projectile velocity of 615 meters per second, which is slightly better than most LMGs that the tier has access to, but pales in comparison to the T32 Bull or the T16 Rhino. If you equip high velocity ammo, your projectile velocity is bumped up by 5%, which would bring you to around 646 meters per second, and the increase isn't terrible, but the additional recoil you get from it is. So I personally would not equip HVA on this weapon. As far as accuracy goes, the TMG-50 recoils straight up with horizontal deviations. It has a first shot recoil of 0.675, and subsequent shots have a vertical recoil of 0.45. It also has a horizontal recoil of 0.175, which is technically the best of any TR LMG, but it doesn't have the best horizontal tolerance, so that number can be a little bit misleading. But even so, it's really, really good. It's also worth noting that the TMG-50 has access to both semi-auto and two-round burst firing modes, and has a higher than average recoil settle. In other words, the weapon returns to center more quickly than other LMGs. This is a good trait to have all around, and it's especially useful when you're using semi-auto or burst fire weapons, but since the vertical recoil and first shot recoil is so high, it makes bursting much more difficult to do, and because of this, I don't find the burst functions all that useful. If it had a three round burst, the story might be a little bit different, but that's not what we ended up with. When it comes to cone of fire, your standing aim down sights cone of fire is 0.03, your moving aim down sights cone of fire is 0.4, and it blooms at a rate of 0.06. Your moving hipfire cone of fire is 4.25, and that will bloom at a rate of 0.12. When you take the recoil characteristics and the cone of fire characteristics, put it all together, what it means is that the weapon has a pretty hard vertical kick, but side to side recoil isn't bad. This means that if you learn to pull straight down on the mouse while you're firing, you should be able to compensate for the vertical recoil well enough. The weapon's aim down sights cone of fire while standing is still really good, but the moving cone of fire is the same as most LMGs you'll have access to, and the bloom is actually worse because of the damage tier. Now because of that, when it makes sense, you want to try to stand still when you open on a target. Standing still, of course, makes you an easy target yourself, so obviously you do it when you know that you have an advantage. Also, the hip fire is actually slightly better to start with than most TR LMGs by about two shots worth. But since the weapon fires so slowly in the first place, it's not a great idea to hip fire this weapon. As far as attachments go, the TMG-50 has access to scopes 1x through 6x, including IRNV. It has a compensator, a standard suppressor, a forward grip, a laser sight, a dark light, and high velocity ammo. For scope selection, I tend to use the 2x T-dot sight, as that feels a little bit more suited to the weapon's range, plus I really like the green. 
I wouldn't go higher than this personally because given the weapon's high vertical recoil, you'll find yourself having to drag down really hard on the mouse to compensate for a higher range optic. Outside of that, a compensator and forward grip combo should be your go-to because the weapon has a slower rate of fire and it's much less forgiving than other weapons you have access to. Because of that, anything you can do to basically increase the accuracy of the weapon and also learning how to aim down sights would be your best option. Attaching a suppressor to this weapon honestly bothers me because of the sound that it makes coupled with a lower rate of fire. For some reason it actually throws my gameplay off a bit and that's not the most legitimate reason to not use a suppressor but it does directly conflict with the weapon's role being mid-range kill potential and because of that I can't really recommend it anyway. If I wanted to suppress a weapon, it'd likely be the T9 Carve or the MSWR, as those weapons are more powerful in situations where suppressors are more worthwhile. The laser sight is also not a great attachment on this weapon for mostly the same reasons. The lower rate of fire coupled with a cone of fire that isn't great means that the probability of landing shots is already stacked against you. Learning how to aim down sights in closer situations or just how to avoid them altogether is a much better idea. Lastly, high velocity ammo, don't use it, don't equip it, the benefits just don't make sense right now for weapons like this, you want to wait till the ammo type is buffed before wasting any certs on it. That said, let's get into some general strategy. The TMG-50 is a decent weapon for headhunting, and you should place some priority on it. It's not a must in any situation that's not a 1v1, but it will definitely help. Within 10 meters, 3 headshots against any target without an active heavy shield will kill them and anywhere after 10 meters, it's 3 headshots and a body shot to do the same thing. Bursts with this weapon will help you keep the cone of fire in check, though the further the target out is, or the more shots you miss, the smaller that burst should become. So if I end up whiffing my first 3 shots, I probably want to stop firing altogether, maybe run into cover for a moment to avoid the return fire, and then I come back out and hit it again. Just remember to drag hard down on the mouse in order to compensate for the vertical recoil. This will help you land those headshots, and more shots in general. You can also pre-drag or pre-compensate for the recoil by pulling down on the mouse before you even start firing. This way, you'll get tighter groupings right out of the gate. Unlike some weapons where the first shot recoil multiplier is just so high that you'll want to start at the chest and let the weapon kick up, the TMG-50 is actually pretty consistent due to it only having a 1.5 times first shot recoil multiplier. Also, where it makes sense, you want to start firing from a stationary position. We talked about this earlier in the review, but the weapon's cone of fire is much better than average while stationary, but it's exactly the same as most other weapons when you're moving. The TMG-50 is basically a baby goss saw in this respect. So try to figure out when it's in your best interest to stand still, and it doesn't take long, you can just pause for a moment, you fire, you start moving, and then you let the weapon settle and do it again, but there's also a technique to it that's worth exploring. What plays into this, and the last piece of advice I'd like to offer, is that while you learn the weapon, do so in more of a support capacity, and then as you build more confidence and become more skillful at its use, you can break away from your allies and still find success in plenty of situations. The reason for this is that the TMG-50 is not a forgiving weapon due to its low rate of fire, but with 75 rounds in the magazine you can do a lot in conjunction with your allies. Even if you just flat out suck with this weapon, using them as a crutch will let you learn how hard you need to drag down to compensate for the recoil, it'll help you find a reflex sight that works best for your playstyle, and it'll also help you make decisions on your loadout overall. If I had some parting words, I'd like to say that I really do enjoy the TMG-50. It's one of my go-to weapons for the Terran Republic Heavy Assault when I find my carve getting outranged a little bit, but their effective ranges also overlap a great deal. So if you're looking to shake up your playstyle a little bit, or just want to get a taste for what a lot of NC weapons feel like, the TMG-50 is a good way to do that. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and if you use the TMG-50 yourself, if you love it, you hate it, or if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave all that feedback and advice in the comments section down below. Thanks very much folks, we're all signing off.